If you spent any time on Discord, at this point you've probably run into the issue that most of us have where we receive a Discord message from some individual that we've never talked to before and they just want to know how we're doing. And you know, the Discord community is amazing, so oftentimes you're like, I'm doing great. But then pretty early on in the conversation, they follow up their message with something like, Would you like to buy some cryptocurrency? I can make you super rich. Click on this link and all your dreams will come true. Discord Nitro for free. Your Steam account has been hacked and if you click this link, I can give it back to you. And all kinds of other things that are absolutely false and not real, they're just trying to steal your information information and hack your Discord account. So this has been a big problem on Discord and the last thing anybody wants to see when they log on to Discord is a huge list of direct messages, most of which are fake. So Discord has been working a lot to try to cut down on these scammy and spammy messages that we get in our DMs. And they've come up with a pretty cool solution that we're going to be taking a look at in this video. It's called Message Request and I'm going to show you how to check to see if it's available on your Discord server yet because they're testing it right now, but also exactly what it does and how it will cut down on the amount of spam messages that you receive. Now, before we get into taking a look at message requests on Discord, I do want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Owned.TV. With a large library of professionally made stream overlay packages, an emote maker, and even sub badges, Owned has your stream graphics covered. Their premium overlay packages, for instance, include animated alerts, webcam borders, banners, Twitch panels, and more to make sure your stream looks professional and your branding is consistent. You can even customize these overlays with the elements you want to use, making your final design specific to you. On top of all of this, you can use code EagleGarrett at checkout to get 50% off of your purchase. So check out Owned with my link in the description and get your stream set up today. Big thanks to Owned for sponsoring this video. You guys go check out the link in the description and get all of your streaming graphics taken care of. So let's take a look at message requests and what all this new feature is about. So here we are in my Discord server called The Flock. This is our community here from YouTube and Twitch and basically everywhere I create content. Uh, and you'll notice that as with any other Discord, you'll see here on the left-hand side all of your servers and, of course, any direct messages you've received. Now, I've recently gone through mine, but normally this list is pretty long, and it's it's actually a little overwhelming at times, uh, so I try to go through there and clean them up as much as I can. I've got a couple more that have come in, but one thing that I want to point out is that up here at the top, you'll see the Discord Direct Messages tab, and if you click on this, it's going to take you over to all of your DMs that you've actually received on Discord. Now, you'll notice over here on the left-hand side that you've got all the friend requests that have come in, which I do need to sift through those. Uh, you've got your Discord Nitro information, and now there's a brand new tab called Message Requests. And you'll see this little two right here that shows me that I've got two message requests I haven't checked yet. Now, what's very interesting about this is that normally all of the DMs that have been sent to you would show up right over here, and you'd have this big long list of DMs that look like these round, you know, profile pictures uh, from individuals. And if you receive scam or, or spam messages uh, trying to hack your account or get you to click something, oftentimes you'd, you'd have a lot of different, you know, profile pictures you didn't even recognize over here. Well, now what Discord has done is separated these messages from your friends. So for instance, anybody that you're friends with on Discord will now show up uh, over here as a direct message. But anybody that you're not friends with on Discord will show up under message requests. And if you click on message requests, it's going to show you a list of everybody who's sending you a direct message that you're not actually friends with. And you can see I've got a couple in right here, but they're inquiring about different things and it'll show you a little bit of a preview of what the message is about. And then you can click this little preview button to see more of that message, or you can accept the message or ignore the message. Now, if you don't recognize somebody sending you a direct message and you don't really know what all they're messaging you for, or you hit preview and it's just a random sticker from somebody you don't know, then oftentimes you might not want to engage with that individual. So you could go up here and just click ignore and therefore it's gone. Now, I don't know if that's a real person or not. If it is and you guys need to contact me, you know, shoot me a message, <laughs> but uh, that's how it works. And then if you want to accept a message, like for instance, this, this person right here asking me if I uh, review Discord bots, which sometimes I do, then I could hit accept and it's going to put them in my direct message bin over here or basically every direct message that I've received and so then I can click on it I can respond start a conversation and do that sort of thing if you if you want to receive messages from somebody regularly and get notified about it then at that point you would send them a friend request and add them to your friends list so they would pop up over here 
Um, but this is a really simple feature and this makes it to where on Discord, you don't have all of this spam showing up under your DMs, having to sift through tons and tons of messages, which may be fake or maybe scams or accidentally, you know, you click on a link you don't want to click on and now they've, 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 you know, uh, got some of your information so this is an awesome new feature now you may be asking how do i get this on my discord well right now on discord this feature is in a a beta stage right you can see that they're beta testing this which means not every discord server has this yet but as they test it they're giving it out to more and more servers so the way that you're going to check to see if you have this available is by going over to your uh server first of all and then clicking the little drop down and going to privacy settings. Now, when you click on privacy settings, it's going to show you this list of features and message requests is what we're talking about. So if this is turned on or available for you, you can turn it on. It should be on automatically. Uh, but this is where you'll go to check to see if you have it available. It says if direct messages are enabled, filter messages from server members, you may not know. And then you can click here to learn more about this setting. If you don't have this here, then it's not available on your server yet, unfortunately, but don't worry. It should be coming soon. They're just beta testing it to make sure it works good and get feedback from the community on what type of features they could add or things that they could improve on. So check here. If you've got it, make sure you turn it on and then hit done. Now, like I was showing you up here to check to see if your Discord server has message requests, you click on the drop down and then you go to privacy settings. This is going to show whether your Discord server, if you own one, has message requests enabled. But what about your account? Well, if you want to receive message requests from people in other servers that have this enabled also, then you're going to have to go down here to your user settings, click on this gear, and then you go to your own privacy uh, and safety settings. Now there you'll scroll down and you'll notice there's a brand new, uh, there's a brand new option here called enable message requests from server members. You may not know this needs to be enabled as well so that you can actually get this feature. Uh, if you're on another server and they have message requests turned on, uh, if this is off, then it's not going to work for you in other servers that have this available. So make sure you turn this on as well. And this is how you're going to see if your account actually has it available. Um, and then on your server, that's, you know, the thing that we did before that that's how you're going to tell whether your server has it available. So just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that you've got to come in here and make sure it's turned on in your user settings also. And at that point, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It's going to filter things out and then periodically just come over here to your direct messages, click on it and see if you have any message requests. Now, one thing I want to point out is that because I've gone through my message requests and I filtered them out, I deleted the ones I didn't want. I accepted the ones I did want. Uh, the message request tab is not going to show up over here. And the only only time it's ever going to show up is if you actually have a message request. So if you don't see it over here, don't worry. It doesn't mean you don't have access to it or that you lost access to it. It just means that you need to go over to your server and again, go to privacy settings and see if it's still here. If it is, it means you just don't have any message requests and you don't need to worry about it. Um, so that is how it works. Very nice, straightforward and simple. But I wanted to show you guys this because this is going to change the way Discord operates. There's been so many scam messages and, and spammy DMs that people have been receiving and it just kind of has become overwhelming. And I get messages all the time of people saying, hey, I got a message from this account or they were wanting to report somebody. But now it allows you to have the power to go through and decide who gets to be in your DMs and who doesn't. So if they're friends of yours, they'll, you'll get the DMs directly. If they're not friends of yours, they have to go through that vetting process and then you get to decide whether you message them back or not. So that's how it works. It's an awesome new feature. I'm super stoked about it. You guys check your discords and see if you have message requests available to you. But there it is, you guys, a brand new feature from Discord that they're working on right now to cut down on those scam and spam DM messages that we all know and hate. So <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Let me know in the comments what you think about this feature. If you're excited for it, have you run into scam DMs in Discord? And if so, let me know your experience. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and let people know about it as well as the fact that you like it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to know when videos like this go live. You can also find me on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. I'm streaming over there all week long. So swing on by, say what's up in the chat. If you've got any questions, you can ask there as well. Last but not least, you can find me on social media, Twitter being my main place I hang out. So if you want to hit me up on Twitter, that's probably the best place, but I'm on all of these platforms. The links for everything will be down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video, rock on, peace out, God bless. And last but not least, how can I get up here?
You can climb on top of this, but it actually burns you. Oh, you know what? Oh, oh no, don't fall, no, no! No! I was right there, dude. I was right there, bro. You can actually get on top of that, though. Now, we know it's possible now. 